For those of you who don't know the story of the creation of Sevi Elob, uh, I have left a link to uh, the book that documents its creation and inspiration. Bertrand Duchefort composed this uh, for Lattice and Parfumeur after hearing the story of Denise Beaulieu uh, and an encounter she had in Seville. Uh, and Seville al Lob translates to Seville at dawn. I will talk about the perfume now and not so much the backstory behind it because it might have been inspired by a very specific personal experience for somebody else. But Seville al Lob has been somewhat of a revelation to me very recently. I first wore this, I obtained a, a sample from a, a Facebook group probably, I don't know, eight, probably close to 18 months ago. And when I traveled to Italy in September last year, I took this, this sample with me not having tried it yet. So I was just taking a few samples for the trip and then wearing whatever I bought while I was there. Seville Alobe was the first perfume I tried on on my very first day in Rome. And I had no expectations. I didn't know what it really smelled like, uh, apart from having looked at no pyramids and having an idea of what it was supposed to be about, but I was so surprised uh, and delighted at how wonderful it smelled. And that instant association with that new sights, new sounds, new smells, a new place, languages m must have must have really made some deep emotional psychological connections for me with this scent but but what happened was that i used up my samples after my first week there and i basically forgot about it or well, not forgot about it i remembered it but when i got back to australia i didn't make any effort to kind of look for a bottle or whatever and uh and I was enjoying all the new stuff that I bought. Anyway, fast forward to 12 months. Uh, I recently did a video on Orange Blossom Neroli fragrances. This one get, kept getting suggested. And I had a look to see it, uh, what availabil availability there was on this. I found this bottle. This is a new style Lattison in the darker glass, um, plain white label, as opposed to a lot of the older Lattisons that come out looking like this. I was a bit worried that this would be smell different to what I remembered my sample being, but I, all my fears and trepidation was allayed once I sprayed this on. This is to my nose is really a very simple scent. It is a, quite a heady orange blossom in the opening, coupled with uh, a really molten, almost warmed up honey, like, like you've heated some honey on the, on the stove and poured it over a bouquet of orange, orange blossoms. Uh, that may may well be beeswax, but I smell it as as honey, as warmed up, you know, like really uh, liquefied honey. And in the background, there is a there is a green tinge uh, sitting there, possibly coming from some obscure green note. It, you know, there is a bit of. Um, I, I'm having difficulty distinguishing whether that's uh, green from the petit grain or that's still from the orange blossom itself. But either way, it is essentially a very heady white floral to open with, which then becomes 
this flowing lava of resins, beeswax, and the creamiest benzoin note you can imagine. Uh, it it's a scent that that when I picture the way this is developing on my skin, I literally picture it as lava flowing uh, down the face of a volcano and all that it's kind of a languid beautiful slow moving scent albeit ultimately at this level it's quite a simple scent but as long as you can deal with white florals deal with some thick sweetness from resins it, it is just done so beautifully and yes i can imagine how this captured a particular moment for this particular person but i smell this and i picture walking the cobblestone streets of rome now and i love that that does that for me and what i'm what i'm equally surprised at is that is that this just is so tenacious on my skin. It is the lingering grip of something that you don't want to let go of you. Um, and, and I really, really love it. It doesn't develop a hell of a lot. Uh, it is, it is, as you will see from the percentage of uh, people that wear this, could be considered a feminine scent for some men, too feminine. Uh, but again, really, on my skin, all this comes off as is orange blossom, heady orange blossoms, sweetness from honey slash beeswax, and then this creamy, gorgeous benzoin note. Uh, all with that tinge of green. Now, there are other notes talked about. Um, I think if you if you go back and read the story of the inspiration behind this scent, there is incense involved and all those kind of things. I don't actually pick up anything there that I recognise as incense. Maybe it's the maybe it there is an element of uh, maybe the incense is giving this element of. Um, you can imagine the beautiful, warm, heady, dry air of a, of a Seville dawn. Um, what, this is how I imagine it. I've never been there, but, you know, that's the beauty of imagination and what perfume can do and what perfume can spark in your head. Needless to say, I... It's been quite a while since I wore a perfume that that makes me a little bit emotional uh, in a good way. And Seville Alob really does that to me. I, I get feels when I wear this perfume and I absolutely love it. And I'm so, so happy that I have this bottle. I've got no complaints about this bottle compared to older older versions i will say this though i i am told rely reasonably reliably that this has been discontinued i i'm not sure i haven't really even looked at whether lattice and have this on their website or not um i'll i'll if if i do i'll put something in the description um but I've been told it has been discontinued. If you can find it, and I still see it online, uh, or if you can try it, sample it, uh, I definitely recommend it. As long as you, as long as you know that th those notes are what you're getting. If you already are not crazy about orange blossom, beeswax, uh, benzoin, it is there is sweetness, there is heady white floral. Um, you may not like it, but. To me, it's hit a mark somewhere inside here, and I absolutely love it. Seville à l'aube from Lattice and Parfumeur. That's my review. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Bye.